Okay, so let's see if you can figure out how to solve this pretty simple math word problem. Okay, so this is the problem. The average of 2, 5, and x is 40. What is the value of x? All right, so once again, that is the question. Feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. Okay, now before I show you the answer, let's take one more look at the problem. So the average of 2, 5, and x is 40. What is the value of x? All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is x is 113. All right, now, if you got this correct, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm totally lost. Why is this so difficult? Well, actually, this is pretty easy, but uh, we need to review and make sure you understand what the average is. And also, I'm going to be using some simple algebra to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into things right now. So the first step to solve any math problem is to make sure you actually understand what's going on and you understand the specific question that is being asked. And a good way of doing that is to read a problem at least three times. Make sure you understand all the information in the problem. And in this particular case, uh, we are dealing with the word average. So if you don't know what the average is, you won't be able to answer this question. Okay, so I'm just going to assume right now that you do know what the average is. So the question is the average of 2, 5, and some number x. Now, x is a variable, but it represents some number. So 2, 5, and some number x, the average of these three numbers is 40. And the question here is, what is the value of x? Okay, so x, of course, is a variable, and uh, variables are things that we deal with in algebra. But uh, there is a way that you kind of uh, figure this problem out without algebra. I'll show you that in just one second. But uh, let's go ahead and do a quick review on what the average is, just in case you forgot. All right, so here are three numbers. We have two, three, and four. So let's go ahead and calculate the average. Matter of fact, if you know what the average is, go ahead and put that into the comment section. But the average is a very simple concept in math, and there's another fancy word for the average, and that is the mean. Okay, so the mean is the same thing as the average. So to calculate the average of numbers, so here we have two, three, and four, uh, the procedure is you simply add the numbers up. So we're gonna add two, three, and four. So two plus three plus four. And then we're going to divide by the number of uh, numbers that we have. So we have one, two, three numbers. So we're gonna take that sum and divide it by the number of numbers. Of course, that's three and this will give us the average. All right, so two plus three is five, five plus four is nine, so we have nine divided by three. Of course, nine divided by three is three. Okay, so that is the average or the mean. Now, once you understand uh, this concept, well, then we can kind of get back to our problem and figure out how to solve uh, this uh, question. Okay, so the average of two, five, and x is 40. So in other words, if we take this two, we add it to this five, and we add it to some number x, and we divide it by one, two, and three, the average, or the answer, is going to be 40. All right, so how can we uh, figure this out? Well, let's suppose you didn't know any algebra, but uh, you, do, or you do understand how to calculate the average. What you can do is just kind of test some numbers, right? So maybe uh, we try one, and we go two plus five plus one, we divide that by three and see if the answer is 40. Well, uh, that is not going to work, but we could just kind of continue to test a bunch of values until we find a value uh, that makes this work. Now, that is a very long way because there is a much more direct approach using algebra. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you that right now. So here is the average of two, five, and x. Okay, so if I have two, five, and x, to find the average of these three numbers. Now, keep in mind, again, x represents a number. So two plus five plus x, we have one, two, three values. So two plus uh, five plus x divided by three, 
the average is 40. Okay, so that's what the question is telling us, that the average of 2, 5, and x is 40. So what is the value of x? Okay, so to uh, figure this out, what we need to do is solve this equation for x. And this is where we're, uh, where we're going to get into some algebra in just one second. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. My goal is to help as many people as possible in mathematics. And specifically, I'm trying to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting way. Also, make sure to hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Okay, so if we can figure out how to solve this equation for x, we can answer the question. All right, so once again, uh, this right here, this equation, is an algebraic expression or translation of the original problem. So the average of 2, 5, and x is 40. Now, uh, just as a quick review, that word is is always going to mean the equal sign in algebra. Okay, so the average of 2, 5, and x is 40 or is equal to 40. And to find the average of numbers, we take those numbers. In this case, it's 2, 5, and x. We have 1, 2, and 3 values. So the average of these three numbers is going to be 2 plus 5 plus x divided by 3. And that, of course, is or is equal to 40. All right, so now we need to focus in and uh, solve this equation for x. All right, so uh, this problem right here is a basic linear equation, okay? But we have a fraction here, and we need to kind of think about how we can get rid of this fraction. Okay, so what do you think we can do? Well, there's actually two things that we can do to solve this equation or to make it very easy to solve this equation. So we want to get rid of this fraction over here. So how can we do that? Well, we could multiply both sides of the equation by 3. Now, remember uh, the golden rule in algebra is whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do the exact same thing to the other side. But if I take 3 or 3 over 1 and I multiply uh, this uh, 3 by this term right here or this expression, 2 plus 5 plus x over 3, the threes cross cancel, okay? So that would just leave me uh, with this right here, 2 plus 5 plus x on the left-hand side, and that will be equal to uh, 40 times 3, which, of course, is 120. So that is a very good direct approach uh, to start off to solve this equation. But uh, there's another approach as well, and that is to think of this 40 as 40 over 1. Okay, now this is going to give us uh, what we call a proportion in mathematics. So we have one fraction here. Okay, so 2 plus 5 plus x is the numerator. 3 is the denominator. And then over here we have this fraction 40 over 1. So we are stating that this fraction is equal to this fraction right there. Now that is called a proportion in mathematics. And uh, let's take a look at a simple example of a proportion right now. So 1 half is equal to the fraction 4 over 8. All right, so uh, we have a property uh, in mathematics uh, that is called the cross product. So anytime you have a proportion, i.e. two equal fractions, the cross products are equal. So in other words, if we cross multiply 8 times 1, that is 8. This is going to be equal to 2 times 4, which of course is 8. Okay, so we can use this concept to uh, kind of set up and solve this uh, uh, equation as well. So instead of multiplying both sides of the equation by 3, you can think of this as a simple proportion and use the cross product. Uh, either way is fine, but uh, let's go ahead and do that right now. So 1 times 2 plus 5 plus x. Now this is a sum, so you want to put this in parentheses. So 1 times this, of course, is just going to be... 2 plus 5 plus x. Okay, so 3 times 40 is 120. Now, again, this is the same thing as multiplying uh, the equation, or it's going to yield the same result as multiplying the equation, or uh, both sides of the equation, by 3. So whether you multiply both sides of the equation by 3 or use the cross product, you're going to come down to this simple linear equation right here. 
Okay, so 2 plus 5 plus x is equal to 120. Let's go ahead and solve for x. This is very simple. So let's add the 2 and the 5. That's 7. So 7 plus x is 120. So to solve for x, all we have to do is subtract 7 from both sides of the equation and add down in a column manner. Okay, so x is going to be equal to 120 minus 7, which is 113. Okay, so that is the answer. Now, uh, what you could do here is just kind of check and make sure that you have the right answer. So if you're like, all right, Mr. Two Math Man, I think this is correct, but uh, hey, we can easily check the average of 2, 5, and 13. So if x is equal to, I'm sorry, uh, 113. So if x is equal to 113, well, the average is going to be 40. Okay, so 2 plus 5 plus 113 is what? Well, that's 120. We have 1, 2, and 3 numbers. So 120 divided by 3 is 40. Okay, so 113 is indeed the correct answer. And uh, to kind of go back to that indirect method of finding a value that will give you the average of uh, 40, you know, you would have to test a bunch of values, right? So maybe you try 1, then maybe you try 10, maybe you try 50, maybe you try 100. You can see that that's kind of a random or a long way, you know, to kind of guess and check. But uh, I don't want to uh, minimize that approach because it is uh, an approach to solve a math problem, this kind of guess and check method. So if you don't know how to solve it directly, uh, but if you you know still think you can figure out the answer, never feel uh, shy about using a kind of check and guess uh, method. Okay, so hopefully all this makes sense. And uh, again, you know, uh, when you're studying basic uh, statistics, things like the average, mean, median, and mode, you'll definitely be using a little bit of algebra. Okay, so if there's anything in this uh, video that you don't understand, just make a note of it and work on, you know, learning that skill or improving that skill one step at a time. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.